Tonight, yet another group of what is believed to be Cuban refugees plucked from the water near Miami. And this is the latest of what authorities are calling a steady stream of refugees trying to make it to shore. CBS 4's Marion Martinez is live in Miami Beach looking into whether we can expect to see more refugees rescued like this. Marianne. Well, Erica, the latest from the Coast Guard is the rescue of one of those suspected migrants late this afternoon. We are told he was rescued by a good Samaritan and brought here to the Coast Guard station in Miami Beach. And the Coast Guard says they are expecting to see more rescues just like this one. Clinging to white styrofoam, men suspected to be Cuban immigrants were rescued from the waters near Turkey Point in Biscayne Bay. This is what it sounded like to the Coast Guard. Is, is there anyone else in the water, or have you you're only spotted the one person? Over. No, we just got the one person on a looks like a piece of styrofoam, isn't it? The U.S. Coast Guard says 12 refugees got on a raft, hoping to make it to the shores of Miami. Nine were rescued or swam to shore. Authorities are still searching for two more, and the clock is ticking, since they're believed to have been out in the water for more than 10 days. And we really do not recommend that people try to take to the sea like this. Uh, too often, uh, the Coast Guard uh, is, uh, finds that people have perished in the water due to trying these sorts of journeys. Making the dangerous trek is nothing new for Cubans trying to enter the United States. In 1994, rafts carried many to the United States. Juan Tamayo, the former head of Cuban affairs for the Miami Herald, says 10 years ago, some 35,000 Cubans got on a vessel looking for a better life in Miami. Cuba was bankrupt, more than bankrupt. It was in total chaos. Over a period of four years, the Cuban economy shrank by about 35 percent. People were hungry. While he doesn't expect anything like the 1994 exodus from Cuba, he says there are factors pushing a new wave of immigrants to leave the island country now. The reforms that were uh, announced and tried to put in place by uh, Raul Castro uh, have not worked out the way that they wanted them to. And people are just getting frustrated in Cuba, you know, and they're saying, well, we've waited long enough. And and Tamayo, the Cuba expert you just heard from, says there's another way that refugees are coming to the United States from Cuba. It's easier to get visas out of the country, so it's easy to get a visa to Mexico or Spain, fly into those countries, and then fly to Miami. In Miami Beach, Marianne Martinez, CBS 4 News Tonight.